Let's take a quick look at the boxy box hardware. You have the classic sinking box design, love it or hate it. Here it is. Around back is the hardware. Hit the power button. And the boxy logo glows. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Hold the button for 10 seconds and it'll go into an admin mode, which the boxy box logo will be yellow. If the box is dead, like my unit was yesterday, it will blink red. That's when you know you have a defective unit and you should return it. So we have the remote here, kind of a candy bar style. One side has a navigational pad and two buttons. The other side is a QWERTY keypad. The QWERTY keypad is really nice. Very good tactile response here. Pretty easy to type on. This side I have a little issue with because it's kind of hard to tell what's up and what's down. You have the little raised boxy logo, but it's only raised slightly and not really enough to tell if you have it the right side up. So occasionally I'll hit the back button rather than the play button. Maybe that'll get maybe I'll get used to it in time. Both sides though could really use with some could really benefit some from some backlighting. Especially the keypad. It's hard to type on this thing because the buttons are so dark when it's dark in the room. Compared to other units, the boxy box is about the same size physically as the new Roco unit, at least the footprint is, but since you kind of have to sit at an angle, it takes up more space. And then the Logitech review is a lot larger, the new Google TV unit. Can you see that? And then the Sony Google TV, internet TV as they call it. A lot larger, but that's also a Blu-ray player. So there you have it, the boxy box hardware. It's tiny, but kind of inconvenient because it's sinking into the table.